Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video and for today's video a uh, couple of things. For starters I had every intention to get this one on the channel yesterday since yesterday was Halloween but the event didn't actually start till like 5 p.m. And I had plans last night, uh, the boyfriend and I, we always do scary movie night uh, every Halloween. So, you know, I actually kind of like paused our, our stuff to be able to do the recording. So yeah, and I don't time travel as many of you guys probably already know, highly against it. So yeah, I, there was like an impossibility of getting this on the channel. So that's why I put Luigi's Mansion 3 in yesterday for you guys. But here is the Halloween video. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just in case some people are maybe watching this in future years to see how to get everything. This is the last part. Basically up until October 31st, you can easily get all the DIYs that are from balloons and stuff, and I will mention those right now for you. Okay, so for the items that you can get before the 31st, you can get the Spooky Arch DIY, uh, the Candy Set, the Spooky Chair, the Spooky Fence, Spooky Lantern, Spooky Lantern Set, Spooky Scarecrow, Spooky Standing Lamp, the Spooky Table, and the Spooky Tower. That is all from balloons and stuff. If you don't want to craft the items, Nook has things in the shop every single day. They rotate out. You can just buy them. I personally like to have the DIYs, so that's typically what I go after. So all of that you can earn before the 31st. Once you have all that, you're waiting till October 31st. So then on the 31st, the event started at 5 p.m. And the basically what you can do is I would hit up Jack first. I didn't, as you'll see in this video, but my personal, like, just in case you don't have quite as much candy as I had, because I had like roughly 30, but hit up Jack first and he will give you some items. There'll be a dialogue. He'll talk about wanting some lollipops. And when you give the first and second lollipop, you will get the spooky carriage. Now, why I say first and second is you'll get a DIY with it as well. So you'll get the spooky carriage and then a DIY to create one. Uh, the If you give Jack candy, you can get the spooky wand. It has been noted that if you give him the third lollipop, you can get it. But I'm just going to say, and it's proven in this video, that you can get it by giving him candy instead. So, um, so yeah, there's the spooky wand. And then there's also um, stuff that you get from the villagers. So this is where your candy comes into the picture. Uh, as you can see, you'll also get reactions from them. Uh, the candy to villagers, just keep giving them candy. The items you'll get is the spooky flooring DIY, spooky garland DIY, uh, spooky rug, uh, the table setting, and the wall. Uh, table setting, if you're struggling to get that, it's also in Nook's Cranny. And... Um, and yeah, that is basically it. Once you have all those items, you have everything. You can still give them candy. You'll just get duplicate items. So really, after that point, there's no point in, you know, doing anything to get new items. But if you want duplicates, you can get that. Um, most of the time you'll end up with some extra pumpkins and stuff because um, they like to hand out DIYs. And when there's 
no DIY to hand out. They give pumpkins instead because uh, they won't give you a duplicate DIY for the actual October 31st stuff. Oh, and also almost forgot, uh, as you just saw, I got his robe. You can also get his face, which you'll see in this video as well. And those are just the candy. So if you also give him two candies, you can get his whole outfit here. And actually, if you start running out of candies, it is a way to actually um, scare the villagers. And as you can see, we also got the haunt reaction. So you get a total of two reactions, the the haunt and the scare. But, um, but for his wardrobe, if you wear both the Jack's face and Jack's robe, you can go talk to your villagers and you'll scare them into them giving you candy, which can actually help you if you're starting to run low. So there is that option as well. So all in all, you know, I'm still glad that I had as much candy as I did. So I'd still suggest getting as much candy as possible if it's your, you know, your first time doing the event just so you get everything. But, um, but, you know, realistically, you could probably come in with a small amount. Also, this I, I ended up getting, uh, tricked because I accidentally backed out of the conversation. So that's what you saw there. Uh, honestly, I liked the trick. It's uh, face paint and yeah, it, it really didn't look that bad. So I didn't actually mind it. Okay, and that's basically it for this video. Now, this video isn't done. I'm gonna keep it rolling for you guys, but I'm done doing commentary. Unfortunately, for um, for this video, I had to do uh, over commentary. Uh, I don't know if that's a proper way of saying it, but when I recorded this video, it was super loud in the house. Why? I don't know, but it was. And um, so I just, I knew there was no way I could do live commentary, but I still wanted to do the video for you guys. So that's why sound is muted for this part, but I'm going to enable the sound and I really don't have much, much else to say. But yeah, so I apologize. This is the first Animal Crossing video I've done where it hasn't been live commentary. And uh, yeah, so my bad on that one. But, you know, I didn't want to miss out on Halloween and it was way too loud in the house for me to actually be able to record live commentary. So um, I hope you enjoyed anyway. I'll enable the sound now so you can uh, hear the the music and all that. I could have kept the sound like I did, you know, obviously record the sound, but I hate talking over that stuff. So, um, yeah, I I'm okay with talking over the music, but usually if I'm doing live commentary, I make sure that they're not talking at the same time I'm talking. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, without rambling too much, um, that is this video. And I hope you enjoyed. Now, I did decorate the island for Halloween. It didn't get done, and I'll tell you why, but you will see a little mini tour that I do at the end of this video, uh, just showing you some of the stuff. Uh, actually, right here, I guess. So there's the graveyard. And here's the campsite. Okay, so I guess I didn't do it right at the end of the video. But but yeah, the campsite, as you can see, there's a theme there. Camp Crystal. I'm sure we've all seen Friday the 13th. I kind of built that in honor of um, my boyfriend. It's his favorite. You can see that I have the Jason mask there. So I put him over there to kind of like a spook you. Uh, it's hard to spook you when it's still kind of, you know, bright on the island. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish I could 
make the island darker. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, just record late at night. I've tried. I have I have really tried. The island is never as dark as I want it to be, you know? And I've never seen anyone's island dark. Even, even people who have, like, horror themes and their islands, like, considered dark. I still think it's not dark enough, you know? <laughs> so, you know... A mist of darkness, you know, I think, I think it just goes, you know, it's just to be expected that my dark might mean something else than, you know, someone else's dark. Uh, that raincoat was a little spin off of it. Um, unfortunately, I think I forgot to actually walk in front of it to really show you guys, but you will see it a couple of times in the video, I'm sure. So... Yeah, um, getting back to the island uh, decoration, though, I I wasn't going to decorate for Halloween because I play World of Warcraft and that takes a lot of my time away. But last minute I decided to and I had a week, one week to do what I could and it just wasn't enough. But I think I did not too bad for one week. I completely redid the campsite. Um, I moved some of the houses. Uh, there's the graveyard there. Uh, um, there's a caged girl at the front of the island near the gate. And then the it. And yeah, so I do feel like I have done quite a bit for only one week. Uh, but now that Halloween is done, we are going to start decorating for Christmas. I I want to decorate every holiday. I just don't know if it's possible because of my WoW gameplay. And personally, I think right now is the best time for me to start for Christmas decorations because, you know, not to throw WoW into Animal Crossing, but there is a release date and it is at the end of November, which really buys me, that buys me less than a month because I'm going to be hard into Shadowlands, right? There won't be a whole lot of hopping over to Animal Crossing. So that buys me roughly a month to do what I want for Christmas. And then maybe I'll have a, uh, you know, decorated Christmas Island for the holidays. So, so that is the plan. And uh, that is all I have to say. So I am going to enable the sound for you guys now. Uh, once again, I apologize for the lack of sound. Uh, normally, I don't do my videos like that, but it was better than you hearing a lot of racket in the background. So hope you enjoyed. I'm sure I will have another Animal Crossing video for you soon. And, um, and yeah, I, and oh, I'm going to try to have the Christmas one done before I am, you know, basically getting too involved into Shadowlands. So, uh, so yeah, but I'm, I'm hoping, um, uh, my plan is cause what I'd like to do, uh, I, I don't know if this is going to get done, but my goal for Animal Crossing now with the Shadowlands releasing soon is I want to complete the playthrough. So I'm hoping that my two residents that I've been wanting to ask to move out, move, move out this month so that we can get that done. I'll get, you know, the island decorated. We'll do a tour video, a resident video. And yeah, I would like to complete the Animal Crossing series prior to uh, the end of November. So, so yeah, that is the plan, but I'm not totally sure if that's gonna get done because when you don't time travel, uh, getting the one or two residents out of your, you know, what, how many residents we got? Eight or ten, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I've been trying to get Jeremiah to move out for months. So, yeah, it's not an easy process. So, I'm not totally sure if that goal will get accomplished due to, I don't know, I guess we'll call it RNG. But, um... 
But that is kind of what's in my mind right now. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and uh, we will see you. Uh, well, I'll probably have another video for you in, I don't know, probably a few days for Animal Crossing. You know, videos daily as always. I'm <laughs> sorry. 